thank you very much for calling me uh, uh, for this uh, platform uh, in the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes we shall discuss about uh, schemes policy and act mean for welfare of senior citizens uh, we shall help, uh, first schemes then we shall discuss about uh, act what are the provisions in the amendment bill and what is the status of that act and in the last we shall discuss about policy Before we uh, uh, discuss about schemes, let us know where we stand across the country, how uh, elderly population is uh, increasing day by day. If you see in the graph, uh, population is increasing almost exponentially. Uh, in the next 25 years, population of senior citizens will be doubled. In 2011, it was uh, 103 million, and in 2036, it would be approximately 228 million. If you see the percentage-wise, uh, in 1961, 5.6% uh, was the population of senior citizen. 2011, it was 8.6, and now in 2036, we have projected it would be around 15%. Decadal growth rate in population, if you see, population is, although it is not increasing so much, but uh, in case of senior citizen, it is increasing uh, like anything in 1991, is 25.2, whereas in the 2001 to 2011, 30.5. So what we see that population of the senior citizen is increasing, it credit goes to uh, good health services we are providing to them. So issue is very serious. Quantum of work is huge. We have to take care of every senior citizen, what they need in their life. This is a huge responsibility of the government. It is. So very sensitive also. By observing population growth and the quantum of work, huge quantum of work we are having with us, we should have all the schemes having proper vision and to achieve that vision, we should have proper mission also. If categorically we state what is the vision of all the schemes we are having in the ministry of India, then it is a, to build a society in which senior citizens be healthy, happy, empowered, dignified, self-reliant life, along with strong social intergenerational bonding. This, this vision we want to achieve through our different schemes or through any policy or maybe any law also. So to provide them uh, adequate food, water, shelter, clothing, healthcare, financial and social security, we need to have a mission in which give them access to provide facilities of such uh, essential, essentially the need. Further, we need to have awareness generation also uh, about act and policy. We need to have schemes to make them aware about our policies and schemes. More important thing is that we should have a trusted information for them, a platform where they can access and see what is going on in the, uh, the government, what are the policies meant for them, uh, what should be start, what, what are the activities going on, whether these are useful for us or not. So uh, these are uh, the vision and mission which have been mentioned in the scheme guidelines. The scheme is uh, uploaded on the portal of the ministry. Uh, it has been duly approved and it is for the public. If anybody has not gone through it, please go through it. A lot of more information is there in that. Uh, we have many number of schemes, major schemes I will discuss here. Uh, we have uh, revamped and uh, renamed the scheme meant for uh, senior citizens. Atal Vayu Abhidya Yojana. And uh, through this scheme, we are uh, we have taken different uh, sub-schemes. One of the schemes, sub-scheme is integrated program for senior citizens. 
in the integrated program for senior citizen uh, we provide the uh, free of cost shelter and uh, uh, the food shelter and clothes we call it uh, senior citizen homes target beneficiaries for uh, senior citizen homes is indigent senior citizens the word indigent senior has been uh, categorically defined in uh, mwpsc act 2007 indigent senior citizen means a senior citizen who is not having sufficient means of living means he is not having house or otherwise he is not having food then we uh, keep them in senior citizen homes and we provide them shelter food and recreational activities to your cost this is been done through uh, uh, societies ngos trusts or any state uh, local authorities states can also uh, open senior citizen homes as far as central government is concerned we provide grant in aid to ngos voluntary organizations we invite applications everywhere uh, every year and we select based on their qualities and performance and reputation in the uh, in that area so we select ngos uh, to provide senior citizen homes projects through integrated program for senior citizens if you uh, name it we provide senior citizen home of the capacity of 25 beneficiaries maintenance of senior citizen homes for 50 beneficiaries let, let me uh, make it clear here we are not providing a uh, grant for construction of senior citizen homes we are providing man, uh, we are providing grant for maintenance of senior citizen homes only so land cost and building cost Uh, uh, government of india does not uh, bear it third one is maintenance of senior citizen home for 50 elderly women we understand uh, in some of the areas uh, because of economic crisis women are facing problems especially widows so exclusively for uh, elderly uh, men we provide uh, grants for senior uh, for senior citizen homes meant for uh, exclusively for women a maintenance for continuous care homes and homes for senior citizens afflicted with alzheimers and dementia uh, for a minimum of 20 senior citizens we provide grants every year i think they, they, this uh, every uh, every year we provide them grant it is uh, this bus it is given in two installment one uh, inudan portal is there we take application they submit their application online through inudan portal and it is processed and the uh, amount is disbursed to their account directly it is very transparent so uh, and they can know what is their uh, what is the status of their application uh fifth one is maintenance of regional resource and training centers the centers which are uh, uh, which uh, the, the responsibility of them is uh, uh, they can uh, they, they will uh, coordinate with local authorities and uh, if there is an issue they can uh, disseminate information to them and uh, uh, in fact they are uh, they are providing training to indigenous uh, senior citizens also uh, if it is required whoever are working in uh, somebody somebody does not know anything about them they can send it to send them to rtc and take training maintenance of mobile medical unit ongoing physiotherapy clinic for senior citizens these ongoing for ongoing project we are supporting but for last financial year we are not supporting new mmus of physiotherapy clinics actually this cabinet not was approved last year and this was the condition that uh, uh, only ongoing projects should be supported no new mmu physiotherapy should be added by this ministry the same projects are being run by health department Uh, if you see the target and what is the status as on today, as far as senior citizen homes are concerned, as per uh, section 19 of the MWPAC 2007, uh, it has been mentioned that uh, in every district there should be senior citizen home. Therefore, uh, accordingly, this uh, scheme was started. Till now, we could cover only 50% districts across the country. Our target is to cover remaining 50% districts at the earliest, at most. the next four years we have to complete all in fact we have uh, prepared efc and the cabinet or not has been approved uh, like that and budget provision has been made accordingly 
therefore we have asked every district every district welfare officer to submit their information whether uh, any senior citizen home is working uh, there irrespective of maintenance of any uh, institution any organization society or even private if it is if, if any private agency is there and uh, they are maintaining their senior citizen home then then our purpose is solved then no senior citizen home is required in that area from our side we are here to cover districts where where no senior citizen home is there whether it is maintained by private agency or government or ngos survey reports they submit online through the nag portal we see that such and such districts they have submitted the no senior citizen home is uh, working there then accordingly we issue notification uh, from the uh, from this ministry to invite application from all eligible ngos societies and trusts and after physical verification and uh, after knowing reputation uh, of that in the organization or society we select ngos to uh, provide the services second uh, uh, major initiative we have atal bayo vidya yojana is uh, rashtriya vaisha yojana this is umbrella scheme under atal bayo vidya the second uh, scheme is rashtriya vaisha yojana which was started uh, on 1st april 2007 objective was to provide uh, assisting living devices to uh, disabled persons who is not able to uh, listen properly or otherwise they are not able to walk properly and they are senior citizens and uh, if they are below poverty line and family income is not more than 15000 per month such living devices and assisted living devices physical aids we provide them uh, free of cost assisting living devices are provided free of cost uh, through camp more we arrange camps in every district based on information we receive from the district minister or uh, member of parliament or mlas or any other uh, this scheme is being implemented through elimco it is a psu uh, under this ministry elimco means artificial limb manufacturing corporation <coughs> uh, there are many items generic items like walking sticks elbow crutches walk crutches tripod hearing aids artificial dentures spectacles special items wheelchairs uh, i will not name but so many items are there which are really required for senior citizens in old age that is uh, we provide them free of cost and uh, uh, it is arranged very famous uh, scheme it is um, after assessment uh, we check whether which type of item is required for, for what size so doctor goes there and check it and assess it uh, if such and such, uh, such item is required so we provide uh, them based on uh, medical check up <coughs> This is the status as on today. We have not as on today. This is the status as on 10th January 2002. More number of camps have been arranged. It is around 59 in 2021-22. Total uh, uh, number of devices we have uh, issued. We have given 5 lakh 72 thousand 2018 till now. And value of the devices uh, till now it is in crore 136 crore. So it is going on. Remain. We want to cover. Uh, Uh, almost all the districts in next for for this also scheme has been prepared uh, third uh, initiative we have taken last year in fact we have taken livelihood and skilling for senior citizens livelihood and skilling for senior citizen this scheme is meant for uh, uh, active senior citizens whoever are active uh, they can form a group what we call it uh, elderly self help group actual name and we, we have given action group m that social reconstruction either same group this uh, aim is to um, get the people to sit together whole day and uh, they can run activities uh, they can produce uh, items uh, for uh, by collecting materials from the local maid or otherwise uh, they can run any kitchen guard they can run any crage or kitchen gardening teaching high tech vegetables seeding poultry agora laboratory mushrooms cultivations medicinal plants vegetables are so many even even village level entrepreneurship they can start through this 
So uh, it is across the country we have started last year and uh, we provide them 50,000 uh, honorium, 50, 000, amount of 50,000 uh, per annum. Uh, we, our aim is to make them sustainable. We, we, we provide them honorium for uh, five years only in anticipation that they will continue. Uh, like uh, if they are able to run uh, a dairy, the, the, it will be sustainable. They, they, they can uh, sustain without help of uh, the government, but still uh, lack of awareness yeah. is there, but uh, we started it and it will be, be uh, enlarged and more number of groups will be formed and the senior citizens will, uh, will pass their time happily. One more uh, in this uh, scheme uh, point is this the initiative, the Senior Able Citizen for Reemployment Dignity, that is a sacred portal. This was started last year on 1st of October 2021. It was inaugurated by the Vice President of India. This portal is a portal where uh, job provider and job seeker both can uh, uh, enter their details. Yes, if, if, if I am a job provider, I am a supervisor, company owner, then I can um, fill their uh, form and see, okay, I need uh, an experienced uh, senior citizen having such and such uh, uh, qualification or, or skills. And uh, the another side, the senior citizen who is very active and uh, has educated many or having experience can uh, um, fill their request, fill their, uh, request on the separate portal. And uh, after matching uh, with respect to uh, their parameters like uh, area of interest in language yes, language and uh, amount uh, so much of the amount they need based on that they select uh, senior citizens and the matching they can get it is a self actualized system we have started last year still uh, your lack of awareness is there but uh, yes. more senior citizens yes. come to they will use it uh, one more uh, initiative we have started last year promoting silver economy. Through this, uh, we uh, encourage startups to come in this field to produce uh, to produce uh, items or provide services uh, made for senior citizens. We provide fund uh, up to one crore uh, in the mode of equity share. The equity cannot be more than 49%, up to 49%. Oh. Uh, for that one portal is there, said portal, it was also inaugurated by Vice President of uh, last year on 1st of October 2021. Nowadays, <clears throat> last year, uh, uh, we had invited applications and nine startups were selected and around 20 crore amount was released uh, to, to uh, IHCI. Um, although this is in the process, but we have already taken this initiative. For the current financial year, year um, window was opened and we have received applications. Uh, this process is going on for uh, uh, increasing startups for the selection. We uh, have, uh, this This is also helpline we have started last year, that is uh, 14567. This, is, this number is very simple. Uh, we can remember it. It's a uh, four, five, six, seven is a number. So it is easy to remember. A senior citizen can remember it. And uh, this is uh, accessible through any mobile or any landline number uh, of any operator. If you are having uh, air, uh, air cell or otherwise Airtel, BSNL or MTNL, uh, Vodafone, from every, from whichever telephone you are having or mobile you are having, you can access this number by dialing 14567. This is a toll free service. This service is uh, available from uh, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So, through this um, uh, helpline, any senior citizen can uh, submit their can uh, submit their complaint or uh, grievances. They can, uh, if you are, they, are, they are in depression, they can contact 14567. Expert experts are there. They can actively engage them. In fact, our operator is working out there and uh, they can retest their grievances through uh, dialing this number 14567. Uh, across the country, it is available. In some of the states, still it is not there, but more than 29 to 30 states, it is uh, active. Uh, ground service delivery is also there. If you have a particular uh, senior citizen facing problem, to 
Uh, he is facing very emergency. If he, some emergency is there, he can dial this number and uh, our operator will contact them. He will coordinate and some help will be provided at the door also. Let us, these are the major schemes. These were the uh, major schemes we are running. Let us uh, have some idea about uh, 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 the act. As per uh, um, as per uh, um, provision uh, made uh, in the Constitution, Article 41, please you come after that. Eh? This um, uh, as per Article 41, uh, we have to take care of old age. We are bound to the constitutional provision is there. Accordingly, in uh, uh, 2007, this uh, maintenance and welfare of parents and senior citizen in 2007 was acted. <clears throat> following were the following are the provisions. This is the responsibility of children related to take care of uh, parents and senior citizens. Provision of tribunal is there in the act. Uh, if, if, if they are facing some problems, they can submit their application before the tribunals. Disposal uh, will be through uh, trial through reconciliation process. If uh, something is to be done or they are there, then 10,000 per month maintenance order can be issued by the tribunal. Ma uh, means uh, children have to be This is the provision as well. Okay. Maintenance office for pleading on the behalf of the senior citizen. <coughs> Setting up orders home in every district, as I told you earlier, as per section 19, uh, the, the, there is a provision. State government to provide medical support for senior citizens. We know health services are the subject matter of uh, state. So state government has to provide medical support for senior citizens. Transfer of property to be void for maintenance of elders. The bonding of parents is a punishable offense with imprisonment up to three months or fine up to 5,000 per month. As on today, if you see the implementation uh, status of the act, all the states have notified that tribunals have been constituted in all the states. Number of cases filed are less. We understand as a lack of awareness there. A lack of awareness is there. It's a matter of relationship between uh, children and parents. So it's a very sensitive issue. Some of the parents, they do court or tribunal, they see, okay, kya na chalka hai, bache ka mamla hai. They can, uh, <coughs> they have some, but still, because of lack of awareness, number of cases have been filed very less. Uh, we uh, have received uh, feedbacks from different uh, stakeholders from the High Court Haryana, Punjab, and High Court of Madras. Uh, there were uh, judgments. As per that uh, judgments, and they pronounced the judgment that task of the SDM and DNs can be discharged by living trained persons in tribunals, appeal to be admissible to children or relatives, advocate to be allowed before the tribunal. This the, this uh, uh, directions we have received from uh, Honorable uh, High Court of Haryana and Punjab <coughs> during that time, and uh, we have we have received uh, recommendations from group of secretaries, uniform adoption of the age criteria for all the benefits, rating of organisation providing home care services to elderly, an increase of maintenance amount to senior citizen from ten thousand. Higher amount. This, 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 these recommendations, recommendations we have received from group of secretaries. Public grievances, petitions received in the department regarding inclusion of daughter-in-law in the definition of children, increase the amount of maintenance allowance, and inclusion of both parents and senior citizens everywhere in the act, strengthening section 23 of the act regarding transfer of property and medical supporting hospital so many uh, other uh, suggestions we had received based on these suggestions we have introduced amendment to the mwpsc uh, to the mwpsc 2007 uh, uh, we call it mwpsc bill 2019 it was introduced on 11 december 2019 following the major <coughs> provisions we have made we have expanded the children Definition. The definition of parents also has been expanded to include low and uh, enlarged and grandparents. We have increased upper limit of maintenance from 10,000 to higher amount as per 
the need of that parent parents provision of appeal action aid to children also sometimes what happens is children are not satisfied or some facility is there or they may say ki, okay this judgment given by tribunal is not okay but there is no provision at all how to go where to go uh, as per the so this provision has been now children can also go against uh, uh, tribunal orders they can go to appellate authority appellate authority is uh, uh, district level it is there dm is the appellate authority there so provision of appeal extended to children and relatives daycare facility has been made uh, has been made uh, for daycare facility old age homes daycare center to be registered with registering authority designed by the state government the as on today it is not there some of the states it is there but uh, now it has been made mandatory uh, state government may cancel withhold registers from institution not providing necessary amenities this, this we felt that if you are not able to provide uh, quality of services or uh, senior citizen home is not up to the mark, then we can cancel that. Uh, and this was the minimum rate, therefore, we did it. A regulatory authority to be designed by the state government for the functioning of the institution. It was also felt um, and essentially uh, we have introduced it. Central government to give model rules to all the state governments that last year, last time also, this model, uh, model rules were uh, given to all the states uh, <clears throat> this time also in the amendment bill based on the provisions made in the act we have to make a model rules and all will be subject to state governments for further implementers they can modify it based on model rules at the level of state also home care services for senior citizens registration of such institutions and accreditation of quality of services this provision has been made nodal officer for senior citizen in every police station it would be required revocation of aid to parents as well punishment for abuse of senior citizens parents introduced maintenance officer to represent parent application tribunal and act as a single point of contact so this 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 we have made a special provision of parents will not require to hire any uh, special man or otherwise lawyer or otherwise no need to take any suggestions one point one maintenance officer will be there he will take care of that Designation of the registration uh, regulatory authority to be provided within six months. Six months. This is a time we have given uh, uh, mandatorily that it has to be uh, de uh, designated uh, within six months of commencement of the act. Counseling facility to be provided for senior citizen district hospitals. Separate geriatric health facilities, hospitals, and least tribunal to dispose of cases of 80 years senior citizens within a maximum period of 60 days. We felt. But uh, after uh, beyond uh, 80, 80 uh, plus age, it's very difficult to maintain activities. Therefore, time limit we have reduced to, to get to take care of them. No provision of exceptional circumstances in applying that case. Maintenance tribunal and special police units have been uh, used to have office on the ground for with such facilities such as ramp and toilets for senior citizens. Sir, humble request. Please, yeah. Please, yeah. Please, please, yeah. Please, please, And further, we have uh, this, this was uh, referred to standing committee. The standing committee uh, suggested uh, new suggestions. And based on that, we have further amended it. Uh, like uh, the punishment for violation of minimum standard, year infringement, fine up to 50,000 or board, role of maintenance officer strengthen. We have made it more different and video conferencing uh, facility would be there at the time of uh, case going on in tribunal. Everybody will be able to see it. So IT enabled system has been included in uh, uh, implementation of this act. This, this, this was the, about the act. This livelihood for elderly and aging in dignity, uh, although this new policy we are going to introduce, this is uh, actually earlier policy announced in 1999, 1999 uh, has been uh, now renamed as livelihood for elders and dignity, we, we call it. Many number of new provisions we have right? like uh, re-employment of opportunities for senior citizens, elderly self-help groups, promoting silver economy, promoting exclusive housing complexes for senior citizens, Assistant living devices for senior citizens belonging to BPL families, home care services, use of science and technology, setting of daycare centers. So many, so many uh, new uh, initiatives we have taken. 
uh, these have been mentioned in the new policy. Cabinet note has been prepared and has been sent to cabinet. I hope both uh, this uh, poly, new policy as well as uh, new uh, amendment act will be passed uh, by the cabinet and the, in the coming winter session, uh, it will be passed. Thank you.